Starting it for the Reds, born and raised, still makes his home in Nashville, Tennessee, is 29-year-old right-hander Sonny Gray. Yeah, Tom, his first start, Sonny's start here in Cincinnati did not go, I think, as the right-hander would have planned, but I thought he really had a great redemption ball game against Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. Straight up in the air. And crossing into foul territory is a Eugenio Suarez, and that's the way we get it started. He pauses, and after a long hold, he comes back to the plate, and that's a strikeout swinging. So they take care of Neil Walker, and now he'll deal with second baseman and cleanup batter Starlin Castro with two out. Looked like he went, and he did on the appeal. Good start for Sonny Gray. A lot of hit, a couple of strikeouts. Pablo Lopez takes the ball. His third start of the season, first time he's facing the Reds. In fact, is also his first road start against an NL Central opponent in his young career. This one top right side, hustling in, in the shift. That's Rojas to make the play, and there's one away. 3 2 pitch coming to Votto, who chases. And uh, there should be bulletins being sent around Cincinnati. I can't imagine many times that we've seen him chase. Wasting no time right at him beats him with a fastball three pitches three strikes two K's in the first for Lopez. Oh right in the backside now he finds it does he get him no oh, no with a side flip of the hand. Oh caught him inside of one of his legs. I'm sure that did not feel real good. It seems like he's all right. Well, if his warm-up tosses were any indication, he certainly looked good. I don't know what that means at the end of the day, but what we do know now is Bauman and uh, David Bell trot back to the dugout. He's going to stay into the game. Runner goes, swing and a miss, and Casale made interference. contact. Interference. interference. Yep. And they're going to call the runner at second base out. Watch Casale here after the swing and miss. He comes out. Brinson comes over the plate. Many catchers will just stop when the batter comes in front of them and you won't get the interference call. You have to continue with the play. Your body makes contact with the hitter. The throw goes into the ground and you get the call from the home plate umpire. And there's that breaking ball. Better spot. Four strikeouts in the first two for Sonny Gray. Ranging far to his left and having a hard time getting it out of the glove is Castro and Suarez able to beat it out. They totally vacate the right side of the infield as we see with most shifts of big power hitters now. Suarez just tries to inside out the ball. He didn't hit it very hard at all, but he put it in a good spot and kicked in the afterburners enough to beat it out. Three two and that's strike three and Granderson knew it Gray with five strikeouts in the first three is allowed two hits and no runs. Gray's two two pitch swing and a miss he struck him out That's six strikeouts for Sonny Gray today. Straight away center field and hit pretty well Winker will drift to the track to the wall he'll jump and get it. How about the wink. He was up for the challenge, Cowboys said, to, to play center field. Didn't have much action that first start, but that's a nice play. Yeah, the ball that's hit over your head in center field, directly over your head, sometimes is the most difficult to judge. I think Winker was prepared to go up and over the wall. The ball just wasn't quite there to where he had to do that. Kid Lopez does not waste a whole lot of time on the mound. I mean, he doesn't very far from the pitcher's mound itself. Jesse loops one into center field, and that's a single to begin the Cincinnati fourth inning. And fists it into left field. How about that piece of hitting? That pitch just chewed Votto up and somehow, some way, put the bat on the ball. Beautifully done.
pitches in the same spot back to back especially with the shifting that you have now that first fastball Votto fouled it off towards the third base dugout came back in again and he just takes it the other way. Lopez to Puig. He swings and sends a fly ball deep to right field. Back goes O'Brien at the warning track. At the wall, he makes the catch. And tagging at second is Winker. He'll advance to third. Votto back to first. On the Three and two on Suarez. And a hot smash in the left field, a base hit. And the Reds are on the board. A one out single here in the fourth inning by Suarez to score Jesse Winker. There's a pitching change, Cowboy, after four innings from Sonny Gray. You wonder, you wondered at the time, would that line drive start to, you know, create some problems as this day went on, getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down? Because Lord knows it's not his stuff today. He was incredible through his first four innings, allowed only two hits and no runs. Number one, he's able to throw a fastball for a strike and not having to overthrow. And he has looked awfully good. Yes, he has. One, two, three innings, picking up for Sonny Gray. He's a pitcher of record now in this game. Two on and two out for Joey Votto. They put the big shift on him the last time. He hit the same ball again. It would be another hit. And he hits it through the shift again in the left field, a base hit. Casale will score. Throw comes into third, and the runner is safe at third, and Votto. Beats the Marlins in their defensive game to make it 2 nothing Cincinnati. There's some guys you can put the shift on from now until the end of time, but Votto is just such a thinking man's hitter that he's going to figure out a way to make you pay for shifting him that much all the time. Now Puig just missed a home run his last time up. And hooked into left field by Puig, and it'll fall in a hit of the roll to the wall. Winker will score. Votto will score. Yasiel Puig, a two-run double. Rays were fooling around with having relievers start games. This one down the left field line, and that is a, I believe, home run. It is a home run. I mean, that thing almost stuck right on top of the fair pole. We've seen at least, what, four of those in this series, the first row, and I refer to that first row for pitchers as Hades in this ballpark. They want a sweep. They're going to stand and cheer, anticipating the final out. Bouncer left side, Suarez gloves. The Reds sweep the Marlins, allowing one run. One run, a Neil Walker home run in the third inning, the second game of the series. The only run scored in this three-game set by the visiting Marlins.